Hello and welcome. I'm Angela Moritz Reed from Stamping Beauty. Today I'm going to be creating this card, which is for the Hopperboard Design Team Blog Hop. I'll pop a link below for um, you to be able to pop over to Instagram and hop around um, all the other participants in the hop today. So I've started with a basic white card base and I'm using the thick cardstock. Um, it just works a lot better when you've got quite a lot of elements um, on the front which makes it heavy and then next I'm just going to do this uh, layer here so that's just with the basic white I've got it um, slightly bigger than I'm going to trim it down just avoids getting um, sort of e uh, darker edges so I'm using the boho blue which is one of the gorgeous new in colors and what I tend to do when I'm um, adding blended ink to the background so I just pop it onto here I don't want to pop it here and waste the ink and I can go back onto this tray and pick more up if I need it so I'll just start um, here and work my way around and I tend to start somewhere on the paper that's going to be hidden by the um, an image because sometimes it can be a bit makes a funny sort of mark when you first add some ink um, to the paper and it will um, blend in and absorb as you go along so if it does look a bit patchy sometimes that sort of goes away so it just takes a little bit of patience to build the colour up and I just want to get it sort of all mostly the colour in this corner and then sort of just radiate it out just a little bit to this left hand side it does pay to be a little bit patient with this process I tend to get a little bit impatient um, but it is important just to build that ink up slowly And I find the circular motions work really well just to get a nice smooth um, amount of colour on. And then I tend to move it around a little bit just to um, change up where I'm putting the focus of my ink. Just to get even it, evenly get it spread around a bit. As I say, it is going to be covered, so you don't have to worry too much if it seems a little bit patchy because it won't be so noticeable when it's got images on the top. So once you're happy with that, with um, your amount of colour, and what you want to do is trim it down so I'll just bring my trim in here and I want to trim it down to nine centimeters so that's one centimeter off so I'm just going to take half a centimeter off all the sides just makes um, I don't have any of those sort of that edge like that that darker edge so those are the four sides done and what I want to do is add you can see I've added a bit of splatter so I'm just um, going to do that just with an aqua painter so less is more you can always go and add more back and you can't always see it initially when you put it on, it will develop. So I'll just squeeze that so a bit of water is coming into the into the top of the where the brush is and then just flick. So you should be able to see that just starting to um, work now. Sorry, I was a bit close then. So I'm just going to set that aside to dry. And then I want to start working on creating all these 
um, pieces here. Now I have gone ahead and done some because there are quite a lot. So you need this large daisy set here. You need three of those. You won't use all three. So I always just, um, I've got a little um, envelope here, clear envelope and any extras, I just pop them in. That's always good when you need, um, you know, find something you need in there without having to um, prepare it again. I'll just pop that on there. That one, this one is just plain basic white. It doesn't have adhesive. Some of the I'm going to be doing some adhesive pieces shortly. I'm just going to run that through. And sorry, wobbling the camera. And then I'm just going to go back again just to make sure I get a really good cut. some more die cutting shortly but what I want to do with this is pull that off and just take that out just gently pull that out so some of those don't always come out but you can just poke those out I don't necessarily poke them all out sometimes I sort of like an organic look where some have come out and some haven't it's totally up to you and then I just want to cut those apart and then because there is little there are little white tabs where they join just going to um, cut those off Right, so we we need two of these. So we've got one here and one I've already done. And then we just need to do the top piece. And then we've got, we need three of those. So we've got two already done and two of these. So we'll top those up in a minute. And two leaves and then one of the other leaves. So what I'm going to do now is create one of these other ones so I've got adhesive sheet and just want to adhere that onto that piece of white and this is just fabulous it makes a sticker and I just need to do one of those the leaf that is on the end of here just poke that out Just pop that on there and then just pop that leaf onto that bit there and run that through. And I tend to go backwards and forwards a few times just because of the adhesive sheet that's on there. It just takes that to cut through it properly. Then I'm going to do poke that out. And then just take the adhesive sheet off the back. Flip that up. And I don't worry about taking bits out because quite often when you take the adhesive sheet off, bits anything that's there, quite often it will come out too. But if it doesn't where there's just adhesive sheet. You can just poke it out later. So then that is just going to go onto here. So you just want to line that up. And um, if you wanted, you could just do single layers. I just think it just adds a bit of um, interest with some shadowing when you put an extra layer on top. So I just want to line that, line that up. And then once you're happy with where it's lined up, give it a good press. So I've got one more of those leaves to do. Pop 
sometimes the trickiest bit is just getting the adhesive backing off. And then same with this one. Line that up. It's quite forgiving, so if you don't get it lined up straight away, you can sort of pull it off and move it. So those are the two leaves. So we just need another one of these um, top pieces on here. So I've got the adhesive sheet on the back on that one. And we need adhesive on one of these ones. So I'm just try and get them all on here together so that All lined up and then I want two more bits for these pieces here so sometimes it's a trick it takes the most time lining everything up and then I'm just going to run that through a few times as well oopsie Quite often just do them singularly, don't try and get a few together because they do move. Oops. Sorry, so I might just do that. Just not try and get too many done at once. Also need I'll just run this that this is one I didn't do earlier it's um, just a single layer without the um, adhesive on it so we're going to attach them all to the card just with um, dimensionals and then I need one more of those with the adhesive on Tight, just and I'll see if I can do these two as well over here. I just don't want them um, popping up on top of each other. Get that pressed down and through. Once you get going, it's all good. Go backwards and forwards a few more times just to make sure that goes through. That should be okay. So that is all everything cut now. So this is the one without the adhesive sheet on it. And this is a little bit more tricky uh, to line up but Want to be gentle that you don't um, break it off. Some of the adhesives come off, so that's okay. It's all come off, so I can easily just line that up. A little bit tricky but it's worth it I think just to get that dimension and the adhesive sheet just makes life so much um, easier without having to um, pop glue on the back of everything so I find that ends up um, oozing out everywhere so Right. 
and take that bit of adhesive backing off. And this is reasonably easy to line up and just pop on. Because it's white on white, it doesn't have to be exact. It's not going to be too noticeable. So we've got two of those. It's a nice one of these. Oopsie. Try the backing off that one. And line that that just sits at the bottom there that looks pretty just sits on the bottom and then this last one um, another thing that would you could do is add a bit of color to the center of these you could do that with um, a dauber um, or just with a, the blending brush if you did want to add a little more color you could do yellow or you could do more of the blue so now it's a matter of um, popping it onto here. So what I want to do is pop that onto there first. So I'm just going to um, pop dimensionals on that. It's just easier to work with once it's on there. And you can see how much um, space you have to let the daisies overhang the edges so it will still fit in your envelope. I'll just take the backs off those. And then just get that nice and even on here. And then because I haven't poked all those holes out, I can just pop the dimensionals on the back of those. So I don't... Um, even if they have come out, it doesn't really matter. It'll just look white. So I'll just pop backs um, dimensionals on the back of these. And I don't worry about having, you know, they don't need to be totally stuck down. It won't matter. It's a bit of room for movement. Just some little... On there and some little half ones here so I'll just pop a half on there and on there and we'll sort those out those leafy ones out soon so this one here that's going to sit sort of here and then the next big one I'm going to tuck that in sort of about there and sorry if that didn't come off tuck that one in there I'm just sort of working my way up getting smaller that one about there just if you do get it in the right place wrong place sorry just be careful lifting it up um, I found it it'll take the um, the colour off the see off the um, card so which will damage it so you don't want to do that just hopefully um, get it in the first in the right place first time and that one there and then to get these in this one here hasn't got that leaf at the side so I'm just going to cut that off and then what I did with these is just took the that off there Popped it onto there and then lifted it off and then tucked it just under where I wanted it to go so it doesn't show any of that dimension, dimensional sort of in there. And same with this one, that's going to tuck in under there. Just pop it onto the dimensional. a little bit so I'll just trim that down a little bit doesn't it doesn't need much to sort of hold it in place just tuck it in 
little bit is hanging over a little bit more but hopefully there's a wee bit of space in the envelope to for that or I can always just pop it in a larger envelope and then this here just gonna pop that onto there and tuck that into here and that is that done so that's all all um, good um, then I want to do the bow and what I've done is I've got this beautiful um, boho blue the textured ribbon what I did is I got one piece one the piece length I want it which is in centimeters it's about 33 centimeters long and I just got my scissors I actually got some the old large stamping up scissors and I just carefully cut right up the middle so I had two pieces so I got it as straight as I could and then just tied a bow it might fray a little bit but um, let's see. Oh, it's doing so well then <laughs> I don't worry too much if it frays, it just adds a little bit of interest. Not very even, I have to try again. I think I can manage to get them very even for some reason. No, nope, still not. <laughs> Third time lucky. So now it is getting a bit frayed, just pull that off. That's a bit better. All right. So then I just want to pull that out. So I just want to even up those loops. Let's see. And then give a good tug. Sometimes it does just take a little bit of faffing around to get that exactly where you want it. You can sort of manage to manipulate things around and I'll just trim off those little frayed bits. So a glue dot, it's always the, I always think is the best thing to pop the ribbon on with. That on there and then the sentiment so I've already pre-cut my tiny little piece of um, card because this is um, photopolymer I can see where I'm going to stamp I just find sometimes it's easier to cut it first and then I'll just line that onto there and hey presto and then that I just want to pop on here and because there are quite a few that's quite a high um, knot I'm going to put two layers of dimensionals so I just pop dimensional they're just a half ones I've already keep cut then I'm going to put another half on top, another half on this one, pop that off, and then to line it up, I quite often I just go from the bottom and just take it straight up and hope that it will be nice and straight. Just trim this down a little bit just to even that up and then lastly I've got the boho blue dots that go with this I'm just going to use my take your pick tool and just spread three of these around so I might just pop a large one there 
and if you do end up with some splodges that you're not so happy with these always work quite well to cover up put that one there and then this one here and another way just to get it onto here if you have trouble getting them off as I just like pop that little bit of plastic see up to where I want and then just scoot it off onto it just tuck that one in there and that is my card made so thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and if you're not subscribed please subscribe I'd love to have you on my channel thanks again bye